I'm Pastor Kara and I'm your pastor, but hey, let's pray before we get started. Jesus, thank you so much for all my summit kids. I pray that you give us open ears and open hearts to, ha to hear what you would have to share with us this day. Give us a great time together. In Jesus' name, amen. This series, we're learning about the fruit of the Spirit this summer. It's all the fruit of the Spirit. It's going to be amazing. But each day, I'm going to tell you what the fruit of the day is. So instead of a big idea, we're going to talk about the fruit of the day because there are nine fruit of the Spirit. And we want to learn about each and every one of them this series. The fruit of the day is patience knowing that sometimes waiting <laughs> is part of God's plan. not a coconut fruit of the spirit's not a coconut if you want to be a coconut you might as well hear it you can't be a fruit of the spirit because the fruit is love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness and gentleness and self-control love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness and gentleness and self-control oh the fruit of the spirit's not a banana the fruit of the spirit's not a banana you want to be a banana? You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit. Cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. The fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. You want to be a watermelon? You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit. Cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a lemon. The fruit of the spirit's not a lemon. If you want to be a lemon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a cherry. The fruit of the spirit's not a cherry. If you want to be a cherry, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Okay, everybody knows that grapes come in bunches, so everybody get in big bunches. The fruit of 
the spirit is not a grape. The fruit of the spirit is not a grape. You want to be a grape. You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. The fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. The verse for this series is comes from Galatians 5, 22 to 23, and it literally is just a list of the fruit of the Spirit, which is super cool, but we're going to learn it together, okay? So let's do it together. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. So what I'm going to do is I want to say it in little segments and then I want you to repeat after me, okay? So the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things, there is no law. Galatians 5, 22 to 23. Our story today comes from Genesis 21. So Genesis is the first book of the Bible. So can you find that with me? Genesis 21, we're looking for the big number 21 and we're talking about the birth of Isaac. And this is what it says, we're starting verse 121. The Lord kept his word and did for Sarah exactly what he had promised. She, beca she became pregnant and gave birth to a son for Abraham in his old age. This happened just at just the time God had, ugh, at just the time God said it would, oh my goodness. And Abraham named their son Isaac. Eight days after Isaac was born, Abraham circumcised him as God had commanded. Abraham was a hundred years old when Isaac was born. And Sarah declared, God has brought me laughter. All who hear about this will laugh with me. Who would have said to Abraham that Sarah uh, would be nursing a baby. Yet, I have given Abraham a son in my old age. The thing I really love about this story is it took a very long time for Abraham and Sarah to have a baby. Abraham was a hundred years old. What would it feel like to have a dad a hundred years old? It'd be so crazy. And so this is how long Abraham and Sarah had to wait to have the fulfillment of God's promise. And sometimes, God needs us to wait. It's so hard. I can only imagine how hard it would have been for Abraham and Sarah. And they had to wait. But God did fulfill his promise. And so we need to learn through the work of the Holy Spirit in us how to have patience. Because sometimes God needs us to wait. For today's activity, we're talking about our fruit of the day, which is patience. And have you ever had to wait for a watermelon to become ripe? Yeah, it takes forever sometimes. Like it just sits there on the counter and you know it's gonna taste so good because you're gonna look in it and it's gonna be so juicy and pink and awesome, but you have to wait because it's not quite ready. Do you know how to tell when a watermelon's ready? If you knock it, it sounds hollow. Yeah. So. That reminds us of patience. Patience is what we get from the Spirit when He lives inside our hearts. And we know that sometimes waiting is part of God's plan, even though it can be hard and difficult. We know that patience comes from the Spirit. If you're looking for more activities or coloring for this series, I encourage you to go to westlifechurch.ca where, slash children where you're going to find a whole bunch of coloring that goes right along with the fruit of the Spirit. 
For this week's family challenge, I'm going to head over to westlifechurch.ca slash children where you're going to find a link to Micah's vlog. And I encourage you to watch the one with your family that is associated with our fruit of the day. Well, thanks so much for joining me today. I want to pray for us before we close our day. So close your eyes and join me in prayer. Dear Jesus, I thank you for my Summit Kid friends. I pray that you give them patience this week. Could you give them opportunities to wait, even though it's so hard. And while they're waiting, would they be reminded that sometimes waiting is part of your plan. Give them a great week and bring us back next week. In Jesus' name, amen. If you've done any of the activities or you've done the family challenges, I want to see. Take some pictures and hashtag Summit Kids WLC or email care at westlifechurch.ca. I want to know how your summer is going. Have a great summer, Summit Kids.